Welcome to another edition of NSNP TV. Pop the blades off, so we're gonna stand it up like this. So that's what the underneath of it looks like. We'll get these blades off. They were on there. So let's go ahead and put the blades on since I'm right here. Take these new caps off of there. Like so. And these blades have um, stars. You can see there. So you want to make sure when you put them on that they line up and they lock in place just like that. So how do you know which way the blades go? Because... You know, that's an excellent question. In fact, I have so many people that would bring me mowers and complain that it wasn't cutting right. It's because the blades are on upside down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually give you a perfect example. Nice one, Pam. Okay, so... See the blade? You see a couple of things. So this is how the blind guy does it. So I guess it'll work for you sighted folks too. So these are called fins. See that's pointing straight up toward the ceiling. Got one here. You got a fin here. Okay. And these are obviously your cutting edge. See the right. angle? Yep. That's to the ground. Okay. So this obviously is the bottom of the deck that faces the ground. For people that really need this much explanation, let me go through it. And I'll even able to show you. Put one blade on the wrong way, one blade the right way. Okay. So, the blade on the left of where I'm standing is the correct way. You can see the fin is pointing toward the top of the deck. The cutting edge is pointing toward the bottom of the deck, which would be closest to the ground. If you look at this blade here, I purposely put it on the wrong way. You can see that fin is pointing to the ground. And you can see the edge is at the top of the deck. The reason these fins are here, this is where this, this, these fins create lift. So as the blade is spinning around, it's creating a vacuum, which is lifting the grass up, which obviously gives you a better cut. So it's sucking and cutting at the same time. But let's put this blade on the right way. Again, these are star fittings. In fact, if you look at that spindle there, you can see all those little points. Okay. And then again, you see that the, the blade, again, has the points. All right. So they have to lock in to one another. It's really, really important, folks. There we go. That is on all the way. And then you just take your nuts. Well, maybe not your nuts, but the nuts for the, <laughs> for the mandrel. Start it by hand, get it tight by hand, and kind of then make sure it's tight. And what I do is I just kind of spin it, make sure the blades don't touch, and you are golden. And then we will swap the. And I just hold this here. Tight. So when you install the blades too, do you both you want them pointing the same direction when you're tightening them, or does it really it even matter. matter? Yeah, on some decks they're actually timed, so the belt actually has marks, uh, grooves in it, if you will, or it's slotted like a timing belt for a car or. So those, those decks, it does matter, but this particular one, it's not timed. So it does not matter the positions of the blade, long as they're on correctly as far as the fins point up and the edge, cutting edge goes to the bottom. Don't matter if it's a cutting deck like this or just a walk behind mower, seeing the blades all go on the same way. 
And I cannot tell you how many people would come into the store complaining because the mower deck or the mower wouldn't cut and it now then with the blades be on upside down it'd be so much grass in the deck the blades could even barely turn. So it's equally as important to when you're done mowing, get the grass out from under the deck and also try not to mow the grass when it's wet. I know sometimes in Florida that's next to impossible, but when it's wet, the grass sticks to the deck and it literally will plug it up. I mean, I've seen decks like this where you couldn't even see the blades there was so much grass and mud in there. So showed you how to put the blades on the correct way. Thanks for tuning in. We'll break it. See you later.